Hey, what's up? All right, so this video is about absolute value, um, and I'm going to give a, a, a conceptual explanation of what absolute value is, um, and then a bunch of examples to try to uh, make it to where you have a good intuitive understanding of it. So, first of all, the formal definition of absolute value. Don't worry, I'm going to give you some better examples after this. I just want to give the formal definition to begin with. So, the absolute value of x equals x when x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative x when x is less than 0. So this is the formal definition, all right? Don't worry about this for now. Okay, I'm just going to leave this up here, and I'm going to explain this in terms of a number line, and then hopefully, once I get done doing that, this will make more sense. So check this out. So I'm going to draw a number line right here, okay? Um, let's suppose that we had a number line, and let's say 0 was right here, right in the middle. Okay, so notice, on this number line, I have positive numbers, and I have negative numbers. Positive numbers are in this direction, negative numbers are in this direction. So this is positive 1, positive 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, right? Alright, so if I have um, uh, positive, let's see, what would this be? Positive 5, right here, okay? That means that I am 5 steps away from 0. That's what, that's kind of how you plot a number on the number line. And let's say that I had um, negative 5. Let's say negative 5 is right here. Turns out that even though 5 and negative 5 are different numbers, they still share something in common. And the thing that they have in common is that they're both the same distance away from 0. Now, it turns out that absolute value is just asking how far is a given number from zero? So if I were to take the absolute value of negative five, see absolute value, the way you do it is you put two little bars, that means absolute value. If I said absolute value of negative five, that would equal five. The reason why it would equal five is because negative five is one, two, three, four, five steps away from zero. I would have to walk five steps in order to get back to zero if I started at negative five. Okay, so what's the absolute value of positive 5? Well, it's just 5, isn't it? Because positive 5 and negative 5 are both 5 steps away from 0. It's irrelevant. So this is the number line way of thinking of absolute value. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple more examples, right? What's the absolute value of negative 2? Well, here's negative 2. How many steps away from 0 is negative 2? 2. What's the absolute value of negative 7? Well, here's negative 7. Isn't that 7 steps away from 0? Yep, so it's just 7. How about the absolute value of 1? Well, it's just 1, isn't it? Turns out that um, you might be noticing a little pattern here. Um, do you see how absolute value is basically just something that makes it positive no matter what? So if you give it a negative 5, it gives you a positive 5. It gives you a positive 5. It gives you a positive 5. It still gives you a positive. So absolute value, you can think of it as just... The positive of a number no matter what it is if it's positive it stays positive if it's negative it changes to positive because it's just distance away from zero so um, now that you have a basic understanding of what absolute value is talking about look back at this definition and see if this makes a little more sense so this is a piecewise definition of absolute value what it's saying is that X is different depending on um, whether or not x is positive or negative to begin with. So, for example, if I gave this function, this absolute value function here, if I gave it a positive x, like if I said, okay, I'm going to suppose that x equals 10, positive 10, then 10 is already greater than 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re refer to this first part of the definition when x is greater than or equal to 0 meaning it's positive. So 10 is greater than or equal to 0, so I'm going to use this first part of the definition. So 10 equals 10. Absolute value of 10 equals 10. That's why this would be true. Absolute value of 10 equals 10. Okay, now, how about I give it a negative number? Let's say that I gave it negative 3. So negative 3 is already less than 0. So because of that, I'm going to refer to this second part of the definition, which applies... See, this is the zone when it says when, that means when it applies, when x is less than 0. Negative 3 is less than 0, so I'm going to go to this. 
All right, so what is negative negative three? See how the negative is basically just like a negation, it just says change the sign. Well, if I change the sign of negative three, that's going to give me a positive three because a negative and a negative make a positive. So that's why the absolute value of negative three equals three. Um, but I just want to stress something. Seriously, do not worry about this formal definition. I just wanted to throw it out here because I, I, um, I don't think a video about absolute value would be complete without at least giving the formal definition. But really, the, the distance from zero way of thinking about it, or the always making it positive way of thinking about it, are are two um, probably are going to actually serve you better when you're just doing calculations. You don't want to think about this every time you do it. But I just wanted you to have that there so you'd be aware. Anyways, hope that made sense and thank you for watching. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. Um. This, does, this video does not address um, absolute value equations and how to solve those or absolute value inequalities. This is just a conceptual video. So um, if you um, were looking for absolute value equations, um, I actually have videos on that too. But this one is just a conceptual. It's just giving the idea. So anyways, I hope that was informative. Thanks for watching.